Right, it's a YouTube video of how to code a fob into all of the Meta motorbike alarms, apart from the Meta M3 5YA. If you want to code into the DEFCOM T, the Lagos 3, M357T, M357 and M357TV2, uh, follow these instructions. Right, firstly, to code it in, you need the all-important code cards. On here we have a 16-digit code and the 5-digit override PIN number. The 16-digit code has to be pre-coded to the alarm fob. You just cannot buy an alarm fob from eBay and expect it to work. It just won't happen. So firstly, this fob's got to be pre-coded with that 16-digit code number. Secondly, you can have up to six, on this system you can have up to six remote fobs. Each fob has got their own position. Originally the alarm came with positions one and two. We're coding in to the new one into position three. So it's been pre-programmed with that code number to position three. Now to do it, we have to enter that, that five-digit code, counting the flashes on the LED up here, using the ignition switch. Now there's two methods. Firstly, if you've got a working fob, that speeds up things because basically we can go straight into programming mode and code the fob in. And the second way is if you haven't got the uh, working fob, you have to code it in from scratch using that five digit pin number twice. So uh, I'll show you the first method, which is the method when you've already got a working fob. So. Right, let's go to the programming mode. We've got to arm and disarm the alarm, or disarm the alarm, and then you turn the ignition on and off three times very quickly. As soon as you disarm it, turn the ignition on and off three times, and you get a beep. When you turn the ignition off, the LED will start flashing, and we count the numbers of the code, counting the LED flashes, and using the ignition key. So in this case, the first number is six. I don't know if you can see that. Six. Right, I'll now start. This, disarm the immobiliser. Ignition on and off three times. You should get a beep. Now when we turn it off, the, the LED will start flashing. We've got to count six flashes. So one, two, three, four. Six, ignition on. The second number, which is three. One, two, three, ignition on. And the second number is five. One, two, three, four, five, ignition on. One flash, one. And the last number, which is eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ignition on. We now get those beeps. That's telling us the alarm's in programming mode. We can now code the fobs. So press the button, the smaller button of the fob. The LED will come on and stay on. When you press it again, you get a beep. That fob is now coded. The original fob, once you've coded a new fob in, all the old fobs have been deleted from the system. So we've now got to code in all the other available fobs. So we now press the original fob, the LED comes on and stays on, press it again. That's now coded in. This is a good method of, if you ever lose your keys or your fobs, you can delete them by going through this procedure, delete any of the lost ones out and they'll never work again. To exit programming mode, if you have any other fobs, you can have up to six on this system. To exit programming mode, simply switch off the ignition, and now you can test the alarm. Let's test each of the fobs. There we go. With the, the, that extra beep you're hearing is because the seat's off on the bike, so uh, that's where you get an extra beep on this one. We just test that fob. They're working perfectly. Disarm it, make sure the bike starts. Perfect. 
and that's how you cut it in using a working fob. Right, to cut a, a new fob into the Metra bike alarms when you haven't got a working fob, you need this five digit number. You also need the, the fob to be pre coded with this 16 digit code number. You can't buy one from eBay or from your mate, it has to be pre coded by a, a dealer who's got the correct equipment. This method will work on all Metra bike alarms apart from the M351A. Uh, and also, it'll only work on alarms that have been programmed for passive arming on the immobiliser or the alarm itself. But the M357TV2 is that's the standard. The DEFCOM T, if it's not passive arming, you'll have to buy a new alarm. You can't code a new alarm in from scratch because you, you can't get into program mode. Anyway, to get in program mode, we use this number here, which is 63518, and you do that by entering that code using the ignition key. As you can see the alarm's immobilised, it's flashing away there. So to, to de-immobilise it, you turn the ignition on, the LED will come on and stay on. And when you turn it off it'll start flashing and you've got to count flashes, six flashes for the first code. So let's turn it off. Six flashes, one, two, three, four, five. Six, and go ignition on. The next number's three. One, two, three. Next number, ignition on, ignition off. The next number's five, so we count five. One, two, three, four, five. Ignition on, ignition off, one flash. One, ignition on, ignition off, eight flashes now. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ignition on, off, on, off, on. Now we have to enter the code all over again. So we count six, one, two, three, four, Five, six, mission on, mission off, one, two, three, mission on, mission off, five, one, two, three, four, five, ignition on, ignition off, one flash, one flash, mission on, mission off, eight flashes, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enough. We can now code in the new fobs. So we press the, the small button on this HPA type fob. The LED will come on and stay on. Press it again. That's now coded in. All other fobs are now de deleted from the system. So we've got to press the working fob. But LED on, LED off, that's now coded in. Press the button on all the other fobs you've got, and they'll code themselves in. Once you've finished, turn the ignition off. The alarm comes out of programming mode. Now we can now test the alarm. Let's test the other one. That's fine. That's, that extra beep is because I've got the seat off on the bike. That's causing that extra beep. So that's how you code uh, a new fob into uh, any of the Metro alarms if you haven't got a working fob. But remember, the alarm must be able to be to go into passive arming. If the alarm is not programmed for passive arming, it is not possible to code a new fob in from scratch without without a working fob. So uh, that's very important. I hope this uh, video has been useful to you. Thanks very much. Thanks for looking.